Hi, this is Nikki Lynn Bean from PhotographersBlingMagazine.com. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use our um, Pregnancy Silhouette um, Baby Bump Set. This action set will help you create really amazing um, silhouettes. You can either um, have a true, true black and white silhouette, which is um, typical old school silhouettes where it's just a completely black image against a white background. Um, and we'll also show you how to get a um, kind of less dramatic effect with a, with a black and white where you can still see some of the features. Um, this is not a lighting tutorial, so you kind of have to know what you're doing with your studio lighting. However, I will tell you um, that for the setup of the image that we are going to be working on today, um, we have our subject here. She is about seven feet in front of our backdrop. We just have a white muslin backdrop here. Um, we have two alien bee strobes, one over um, on this side and one over on this side, both set to high power. Um, they are angled towards the backdrop, um, but they're, they're not a straight backdrop angle in the sense that they are angled a little bit in. You can see some light here on her belly. Um, let me show you in here. We can see some light here on her belly. Um, we also have some nice hair highlights. We have a little bit of light here. When you set up your lighting, you do want to make sure that you are um, blowing out the background so both lights are set to full power. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're adding a little bit of lightness here so that when you turn this, you have some contrast um, and it kind of makes the picture come to life. So again, not a lighting tutorial, but the actions will work best on images that you've taken properly. And we have no front light here. We have no other lighting other than the two on our back. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is go over here to our actions panel. We already have our actions loaded. Um, the first thing that we are going to run on this um, action, we are going to do called soften the belly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play that action, soften the belly. I'm going to go ahead and let that play. Okay. And you'll see that what this did here was this added some glowing and we added some um, softness. You can also see that the um, the image itself added some contrast. This is very red here, but this is going to be okay because we're turning it to a black and white. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to soften the belly with a baby bump skin soften. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play that action. And then this gives us a pop-up that tells us to make sure to paint in 10 to 20%. So we're going to click OK. Here in our layers palette, we'll see here um, that we have the black, which is shown. So we're going to go ahead and paint with white because white reveals and black conceals. So we're going to go ahead and paint in the areas where we want this to show some softening. So basically what I want here, I'm going to go with about uh, 141 size brush here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of softening in through um, these areas in through here. Soften up those legs a little. Darken up the darker tones. All the way down through. All right, and then we can adjust the opacity over here a little bit. We're going to soften it up so it's not quite so much because we added that at about 61%, which is pretty bright. So we're going to go ahead and put that down to about 21%. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to flatten our layer. And the next thing that I'm going to use in this action set is going to be our black and white with the motion. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play that so we get our good black and white. So this would actually be pretty much set here. Um, we, we've added our black and white. So this is a less dramatic silhouette effect. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to make sure our layers are flattened for that. Now one thing that you'll notice with the um, high key backdrop is that um, specifically with the fabric, I choose the fabric because you can get a huge white backdrop for um, the high key sessions. They're about $20. You can wash them. Um, the wrinkles, if you're lighting it correctly, can completely go away. But you'll notice sometimes just the way that the, the fabric is shown, whatever. Um, you, you just need to clean this up a little bit because um, you want the white to be completely blown out and separate. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the action to called clean up the high key background. Let's go ahead and play that. And what I'm going to do here is um, make sure that my opacity, my exposure is set to 100. So I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and play this. And I'm going to clean up all of these areas of my white backdrop. Make sure that they are 
totally white. Now a good effect to make sure that you're doing this correctly is to actually, um, if you're on a laptop or you're on an iMac where you have the ability to tilt your monitor, if you tilt your monitor towards you and kind of look down on your picture, you can kind of see any of the areas that you haven't hit with this. Um, it'll show up like a light purple color and it's really important to um, make sure that all those are out because if you don't make sure that they're done correctly, even if you can't see it here on my screen, like I just tilted my screen and I can see there's a couple other areas where I am not, um, where it wasn't done correctly. What will happen is if you to make sure that all those areas aren't completely gone, when your lab prints it, it's gonna print with wrinkles in the background and you don't want that. Um, so here, this is just a piece of my lighting that was kind of caught in the picture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take a white brush and just paint that out. Whoops, we need to go 100% opacity with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that out because um, obviously the cleanup didn't work on that area. So basically we have our before image here and this is our after image and this gave us a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous silhouette. So um, if you wanna take this a step further and you want to have a true, true, true silhouette which is like completely black against white, we are going to go ahead and we're gonna add in some color depth here. I'm going to go ahead and play that and you'll see that um, gives us one level where we can still see um, a little bit of her features. We can still see a little bit of the belly skin. And this is great because it gives your image depth. It gives it more emotion. Um, and again, you achieve this look through lighting. So if you wanted this to be just be completely blown out, you don't want these highlights here, you would just angle your lighting so that it just hits the background directly. You don't, um, you wouldn't want any of the lighting to spill over onto her. Um, so basically, that's how you use the action set. The um, baby add the black in, we'll go ahead and we can add that action as well. And you'll see this gives you an even more dramatic effect here where um, you're even darker than you were before. So um, I'll just go ahead and show you. This is the regular silhouette. This is baby add the black. And then this is um, the full, full, full silhouette. So that's the full action set that you have with the pregnancy silhouette. And again, um, this is not a lighting guide, but I think I did give you a few good tips there for lighting the, um, the silhouettes. And please feel free to check us out at www.photographersplingmagazine.com. You can also check out our um, just weekly updates at photographersbling.com. And then, of course, our uh, Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash photographersbling. Bling. Again, this is Nikki Bean. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to um, talking with you guys again in the future. Have a great day.